yeah hi winners so now i'm just going to give a brief idea of how we are going to tackle this prosthodontics okay so according to neat blueprint it is going to carry 14 marks which includes a part of dental materials also because prosto will have dental materials in it prosto will have implants in it okay even other areas of other subjects are also covered in prosto here and there but uh, the primary focus is on prosthodontics and secondary you can add dental materials and implants which are slightly going to be part of this so in the broad sense i'm going to divide this into four or five parts so of course you are very good at complete denture then the rpd then the fpd then fpd is going to include your implants and it's going to uh, maxofacial prosthesis and of course you can if you want you can add dental materials part of prosthetics also okay so this is a rough area and i feel most of we are good at cd because we do them okay we know the steps we know everything in detail of course we are going to have a better idea but i feel complete denture we are good at I feel FPD and RPD is the areas where you need to focus more and compared to RPD, FPD is easy in in a preparation point of view for MCQs and everything. FPD is a bit easy. Okay, so you need to be more focused on implants in specific because implants is what the uh, modern dentistry is more focused of and of course I agree implants is again a very very important topic which is missing in our books it is missing in our books if you see your uh, the basic mcq books what you are going through implants was not at best implants is not covered properly and of course if you see in the examination hall you will have a decent number of new questions or new areas in the implants and of course, even maxofacial processes, word we know, but uh, the latest advances and everything goes to maxofacial process. And again, uh, your, your basic MCQ books are lagging in this particular area where you need to give more importance. And for example, particularly exams like AIMS, okay, AIMS and PGA, they are more focused on implants and maxofacial processes compared to any other areas in prosto. Of course, dental materials part of prosa is already covered, but we are going to discuss again few important areas which were not covered properly when we are going with the dental materials discussion. So this is an overall view of prosthetics. Uh, the books what you need to uh, carry or you need to handle is according to the order of importance. According to the order, you need to carry this book because few people they have more time, few people they have less time. Okay, so but make a note whether you have good time or whether you have less time in handling this particular subject, make sure you follow this order. Okay, the first and foremost important thing uh, that you need to handle is one is uh, your that can be either your dental pulse or get that can be either your dentist prosthetic part. Okay, and the second important thing that you need to handle is your daily discussions and your videos and few people who are attending the offline centers of course your offline classes are very very important maybe these are going to and these two things are going to nullify the competition between the competitors because most of the competitors they read these two books and once you want to have an upper hand when compared with your competitor these three things are going to make you stand better in heavy competition okay so the third preference is of course once you receive your pp books uh, probably in this month so these are going to be the third preference like once you're done with this part and this part then you can easily sit and solve your pp books part of prosthetics which is going to be uh, something like a revision something like a, a catalyst or something like something like a power play in the in the world of cricket okay you they're, they're going to enhance your preparation uh, at the best okay so uh, this is the primary requirement along with you need to carry uh, the books or the things that what you have done in your final year okay so 
so hopefully most of you have read nalaswami it's not bad okay it's not bad to keep it as a reference for the preparation point also so whatever you have done please do the same don't don't get extraordinary things like rosen steel or schillenberg or or some x y z books into your preparation which is going to be a difficult task just focus on what you have if you have any doubts related to this particular topic if you want more clarity then go back to your nalaswami if you have done nalaswami okay the few people who are extraordinary have done other books whatever it is just go back and just have a recap but make a note once you're going back to the textbook for a particular topic to have a glance make a notes of it and stick on and stick on to your respective topics either in the in, in your basic mcq books or either in your regular notes what you are going through okay so there is one more thing that i want to add to this that is a fourth one okay not at regularly advised for an interns but uh, i i regularly advise the same book for the repeaters there is one one swapna publications book was recently released 2 years back which includes both dental materials and prosthetics part i'm going to post the pic of that particular book on your whatsapp groups and uh, i feel this is the only official book which is available for the particular uh, subjects like dental material and prosthetics right now uh in the in the market okay so you can carry this book as a fourth reference and this is more than sufficient to crack any sort of mcqs that given in the final exam of aims neat jipma and pga okay uh, hope you have a better clarity and now i'm going to give a, a good idea that what we are going to do in the upcoming few days in handling this particular subject so the first task is okay if you if you open your schedule and just have a quick glance okay the first task is i have given four days for complete denture plus one day revision and if you go to the next part maxofacial which is again a part of uh, your cd i have given one day and if you add fpd i have given three days plus one day revision and if you go ahead with your rpd i have given four days implants i have given 2 days and overall revision i have given 2 days so i have given 1 2 4 days for revision so i have given 5 8 10 14 days for the subjects totally so it is 18 days task we need to handle this at the best okay so coming to the first part that is complete denture where i have split it into four parts 1 2 3 4 so in the first day uh, my suggestion is there is 12 pages of synopsis uh, in your dental pulse please do finish it first like in this continuity in the synopsis if you feel any difficulty or if you are not able, not able to uh, understand any concept make sure you get back to your textbook okay and please write down the notes that you have i mean the information that you have collected from the textbook please do convert that information into notes and add on to this synopsis space in your prosthetic part so that is the first day task what you need to do so along with this things along with this things of 12 pages plus some textbook reading and make your uh, make make your subject more configurated the next important thing on the first day is you need to cover the impression procedures okay the impressions procedures has to be covered on the first day so coming to the second day uh, second day uh, uh, you need to cover the uh, border molding uh, posterior palatal seal all those things you should cover jaw relationships also okay then you need to cover teeth setting and articulators this is the task for uh, the second day and coming to the third day the third day task are uh, your special techniques the other techniques and all the miscellaneous things okay and uh, various other aspects that you need to cover okay there there are other small small topics here and there where we are going to cover on the third day and fourth day is all like you need to finish and polish your subject related to the complete denture along with the recent mcqs that are given in all sort of examinations like aims neat pga okay and you need to finish it properly from all the areas of both dental pulse as well as dentist along with the discussions 
and whatever the notes and mockups whatever you're doing okay so then you will have one more revision where you can invest and do some mcqs the daily discussion daily tests or your weekly test some mcq part will be done along with the, the discussion of some controversial questions and xyz so max official part uh, i want you guys to go with the textbook okay one important area in this particular aspect is first you need to learn about the materials that are used and next you need to learn about the uh, different types of max official processes and their indications contraindications and xyz stuff of course i'm going to discuss on the group but make a note you prepare you try to get your own notes so that you have 6 days of cd that includes both max official processes as well as the regular things so the next come for the next comes for the fpd okay fpd i have given 3 plus 1 uh, where the initial stuff was try to cover the synopsis that are present in the dental pulse along with the notices preferably from the book what you have done in the final year if you have not done from any book and if you if you feel you are not up to the mark you can take either rosen steel or schillenberg as a choice of reference don't go very deep just go with the topic specific if you are not clear with the particular topic just go with the topic if you are not clear with the finish lines go for it if you not if you are not clear with the impression techniques for the fixed partial denture just go with that so you just make your preparation very topic specific for the textbook reading okay so the next uh, here you have uh, many many aspects like uh, fpd1 okay uh, try to include uh, principles of tooth preparation different types of crowns you can go for all this metal ceramic ceramic all 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 3 4 crowns 7 8 crowns uh, mesial half crowns and everything even you can cover laminates you can cover your resin bridges okay and all the indications contraindications even you can cover isolation gingival retraction all these aspects on the day one okay so on the day one you can split this and you can cover this topics i mean you can cover up to this level for the day one that includes the synopsis tooth preparation crowns and laminates okay so in the second day you can cover uh, the resin bonded bridges in isolation along with that you can cover fontex and finish lines and fpd third day you can go with the finishing and polishing work of the fpd okay covering all the repeats aspects and every aspect of uh, the fixed partial denture okay the next goes is your rpd so rpd we have given four days so day 1 you cover synopsis and day 2 Uh, I mean, day one you cover synopsis. Along with the synopsis, you do uh, classification parts. You have many classifications. Okay, so all the classifications, modifications, apple gates rules, and everything has to be done. Okay, along with this, you need to cover major connectors and the minor connectors. Okay, uh, and day two you need to cover the rest seats, direct, indirect, uh, uh, retainers, and you need to cover the surveying area. and all these things has to be done okay day 3 uh, there is some miscellaneous work of some uh, small small topics here and there will be discussed on the group day 4 is all about your finishing and polishing okay so this is what uh, the things that you need to do okay implants the group is going to help you okay we don't have a specific reading for implants topic uh, in your basic mcq books so the group is going to help you by providing few pdfs and notices so it's like you need to do more group stuff and have some textbook reading for this particular book and i hope this task for uh, the prosthodontics in this upcoming 20 odd days is done and i hope you can see the rest of the things from the schedule so keep loving and uh, learn at your best and always try to be positive signing off dr shrikant from team mds conquer